Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. So it's a bit of post I'm going through today, and uh, season's greetings to you all. I believe this video will be... Uh, I'm, I'm filming it um, tomorrow's New Year, uh, Christmas Eve. So I suspect this will be going out with you on Christmas Eve. So you're very eager to be opening up your presents, as am I. Ooh. The first item from a mysterious benefactor. I think I know what this is. Yes, indeed. If you recall on uh, one of my uh, tweets, I have an issue with hard disks. I have to hold a lot of data, and uh, I do use these 8 terabyte drives, and one of them is starting to go tonto. So this was sent to me to replace that. Look at this. Interesting. So this is a Toshiba high reliability hard disk, a whole eight terabytes. And can you believe it that I think it's costing about 26, 23 pounds now um, per terabyte when you work it out? I mean, that's good value, isn't it? That's a lot of data there in one, one precious lump. Perhaps I'd better start thinking of backing up my back office videos somewhere else because uh, one loss and you've lost it all. Mm. Whole eight terabytes in one go. I kind of remember early hard disks when they were sort of 20 megabytes. That was sort of my first hard disk might have been 20 or 40 megabytes in an old Mac classic. So let's move on to this next box. Oh yeah, this is definitely back office <laughs> fodder here. Let's zoom out a bit so we can fit it in. This, if you ever drive around in your car and you get a little clunk clunk from the front when you're uh, it's doing a little shimmy over a bump, the chances are you've got a damaged drop link or stabilizer link as they call them in some countries. And look at the length of that one. So if you've got a little Citroen, you might have a little one there that's long. If you've got something a bit bigger, you end up with a big one. And what happens? These are ball joints at the end and the ball joints begin to wear and when they wear that clunk you're hearing is the movement inside normally in there is that but the nice thing is these are actually pretty cheap so you could get two of these for a big car like a Range Rover size or a 4x4 you can see it's taking up the whole screen um, for about 15 quid each then they're, they're not normally that dear but if you've got something like a Vauxhall or a Volkswagen or some of those things some of them are actually even made of plastic now so it's really easy because you normally have to cut them off, frankly. You never really get them off in one go and you have to sort of hoof them with a hammer. That um, they're, they're like nice and plastic, almost disposable, and you probably get them for seven quid each. Now, this is something we're not going to go into massive amount of detail right now, but this was sent to me by a good friend. And for all intents and purposes, it looks like an iPhone X, which is very exciting. So we'll be going through that because I can tell you now, it's not a genuine iPhone X, it's a copy. It's a copy. So we're gonna have a look at that copied iPhone X, see what you get in the box. Let's see, does it look any way like an iPhone X? I mean, I don't have an iPhone X, so I don't really know, but if you do have an iPhone X, tell me, just from looking at it, forget the um, you know fingerprint stuff on there. Is that quite iPhone X-y? So I hope you uh, the best of the evening and looking forward to your presence on uh, Monday morning, which is not a day for Christmas, isn't it, a Monday? But uh, as for me, I don't know what I'll be doing. I will probably be having a little fiddle with some of this stuff, maybe making some backups and uh, working out, maybe try to unbox this. Maybe this will make a nice Christmas video. What do you think? Should we unbox this, have a play? As ever guys, Merry Christmas and thanks for watching.